This is The Chris Abraham Show. Welcome to the Chris Abraham Show, Season 4, Episode 19, which I know is Neunzen in German, and I know is uh, other things. I know it's 19. Anyway, this is going to be a funny episode, and I super hope you find it funny, because I'm told that people like my funny lifestyle ones way more than my crazy political humors. So, I'm going to talk today about the fact that, um, oh, come on, environmental sounds, backup noises, Penske van, sorry about that, more like pesky van. So today's episode is going to be about um, the fact that I wear under all my clothing, I wear as underwear, I wear a rowing unisuit. I wear, I've been wearing rowing unisuits for about 10 years now, maybe, no, no, no. More like five years, and I'll tell you all about it. They're slimming, they're easy to wash, they're sweat wicking, they, and they don't, they prevent anybody in the entire world from seeing my underbelly if my t-shirt rides up on me. And we'll talk about that in a second. And I'll make some references, but this will be a pretty short episode. But if you don't listen any further than this, I challenge you that the next time you see me, make me show you my rowing unisuit. And I'll tell you what it looks like after the break. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm in Crazy Park. I'm in extremely Crazy Park. There's crazy people yelling and screaming. There's children. There's uh, there's a million diesel trucks and buses going by. I was told by my buddy Kaushik that it's these, these recordings here when I'm at Penrose Square. Virtually unlistenable. It's all background noise and grunty groany. This is season four, episode Neunzen, 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 Nineteen, no, 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 nineteen, nineteen. The average age of the soldier in Vietnam is nineteen. Um, so, what do these unisuits look like? Well, they look like wrestling. They look like wrestling. Uh, singlets. Um, I don't know if you remember from high school, there's those Lycra wrestling singlets that are like bike shorts attached to a bib. They also sort of look like, um, they look like uh, modest bicycling bibs. You know, they're like bike shorts, um, but in, instead of the bicycling bib, which basically shows uh, your entire chest and most of your, your, your abdomen, these go up kind of like um, wife beaters or like tank tops or, or um, what the British call running singlets, which are basically running tank tops. Um, 
they also look similar to the uh, singlets that professional wrestlers wear. Um, they look like uh, bathing costumes from the 20s, 30s, and 40s that men and women wore. Do you know what I mean? With the kind of tank top and shorts. And I buy them from Boathouse.com and from JL Racing. <laughs> and half of them are black lycra, which I prefer um, because they don't show up when you lift your hands. It just looks like, you know, there's a black unitard underneath me. Um, or I have like, ton I have like, I have tons of them that are branded for my boathouse which is uh, the um, Potomac boathouse so they are a combination of navy blue red and you know white a white star and white PBC uh, Potomac Boat Club and I have a yellow one that sort of like I convinced boathouse.com to sell me cheap uh, it was a return from another order and it was in my size and it's like yellow and it's got this um, this eagle on the front with PAC, and I don't know what that's from. And I have some orange and black ones. I have uh, some red and black ones. Today I am wearing an orange and black one. I don't know why I bought this, but this is JL Racing. Maybe, oh, I know. They used to have these things like the discount bin. And I think the orange and black one was on discount. Like you get what you, they get what you have. Like if you, if you have two, two XL, which I choose, um, if you can find the cheaper one, I'll just buy whatever. Um, and so whenever I put this, these on underneath my clothing, I do it for modesty reasons. I really hate it when I see fat guys have their belly show, you know, when their t-shirt rides up or when um, their t-shirt is too short and you see underbelly. Like I find, uh, I find it appalling to show crack. I find it appalling to show lower back, lower belly, sides. I, sh I find that all appalling. So I started wearing underneath my jeans, my t-shirts, my other shirts. Makes it difficult to go to the restroom number two. But, um, but it's slimming, it's, it's easy to, I, I take them into the shower with me and I wash them down, um, which is much easier than dealing with, you know, daily Y fronts or, or boxer briefs or whatever. They're made out of, uh, a lycra slash polypropylene slash, you know, performance fabric. So they dry overnight. Um... They are sporty. Oh, and here's the biggest reason. I can't believe that it's become the last in the row. Um, I've been doing a lot of walking, and they, they prevent chafing, right? If they're sized right, you pull them up, and they're, they're not loose and baggy, they prevent your thighs from uh, rubbing together. They, um, there's actually a term for thighs rubbing together, which I don't like. But when I wear them, it makes me think of that scene from uh, St. Elmo's Fire, which is one of my favorite 80s movies. Uh, completely melancholia and sexy, and there's like, you know, like all the cool kids. And I remember there was this chubby blonde chick. Forget the who's the actress is because apparently misogyny. Let me find out. Cast Saint Elmo's Fire. All right, so the cast included, and it's uh, 1985. The cast included Rob Lowe, Emilio Estevez, Andrew McCarthy, Demi Moore, Judd Nelson. Ali Sheedy, Andy McDowell, Jenny Wright, Michelle Windig, David Lane, Nora Mirbaum, James Carrington, Matthew Lawrence, Anna Maria Horsford, 
Whip Hubley, Jamie Anders, Tom Beards, etc., etc. And the woman who was uh, the romantic interest is called Mare Winningham. She plays Wendy Beamish, and she plays kind of a chubby girl who Rob Lowe really feels. They, they all went to college together at Georgetown. This is technically really about Yale, but it happens in Georgetown. And they are all graduates together and they experience their life as like, you know, lawyers or in grad school or whatever. And then, anyway, they hook up and uh, when he's trying to undress her, he, he, and he, he discovers her, um, her um, uh, shaping girdle. He, he finds her girdle and her girdle is sort of like not, it's a girdle. It's not Spanx. It's sort of like proto Spanx. Um, I call my, um, um, I call my, uh, unisuit, I call it either Manx or I call it my, um, Myrtle or, uh, Mandel or I still haven't figured it out. But anyway, he's trying to undress her and he hits a layer, which is her, you know, her body contouring layer and, um, he snaps it and it's almost like it's made out of, um, out of um, um, skin diving material, which is sort of like uh, rubber. And he snaps and he's like, is it your scuba suit? And she gets super embarrassed and so forth and blah, blah, blah. And whenever I put on my unisuit before I put on my jeans or my shorts and my t-shirt and everything else, I, um, I always think about uh, that scene in St. Elmo's Fire. So. You're welcome if you've listened to this episode. Um, oh, if I'm gonna go bicycling, I will double layer. I'll put my uh, unisuit on underneath, and then I will put a, uh, a, a cycling bib over it. So I'm like double, double um, layering. And if I'm gonna go on a jog and I feel very self-conscious of my, sorry, Arlington Public School bus. Um, if I feel very self-conscious about my uh, belly going a boing a boing a boing a boing a boing, I will double unisuit. I will double unisuit. So as to, it's like you know when you find a big busted lady and she says that she needs to wear two jog bras. Um, it's sort of like that for the belly. It's like the equivalent of putting two jog bra bras on my belly. To make sure I don't go gabunga bunga 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 bung. So since I have aphantasia, I have no clue what kind of images are going on in your head. I can only imagine, if I could imagine, the crazy, crazy grotesque fleshiness that is in your mind's eye right now and that makes me very happy. Anyway, you are encouraged and allowed the next time you see me to ask me if I'm wearing my unisuit and you can, you know, like, because there's two, because there's two um, tank top type of uh, um, straps over my shoulder, I can literally, I can literally snap it, make a snappy noise like it's a, like it's a bra strap. And so if you want me to snap my unisuit bra strap so you can visibly, or you can um, acoustically, literally hear it snap um, during a phone call, during a face-to-face -face meeting. I encourage you to embarrass me uh, gladfully, gleefully that way. I give, you, I give you agency to make me snap my unisuit bra strap. Anyway, thank you for listening. I hope this was thoroughly embarrassing. Like I said, I really love it. This is so great because whenever I see anybody and I see their plumbers crack or I see their underbelly or if they have anything but a, a beautiful chiseled six pack and their bellies, bellies hanging out loud, I just say to them, I want to say to them, dude, you should wear a unisuit. Makes everything better. Anyway, love you guys. I'll come right back with some information how to contact me and I'll talk to you soon. Season 4, Episode 9, The Chris Abraham Show.
Welcome back to the Chris Abraham Show. This is season four, episode 19. My name is Chris Abraham. You can reach me at chris at abraham.su. You can reach my website at chrisabraham.com. There's a bus, there's a motorcycle with loud pipes and another bus and all kinds of background noise. Um, my phone number is plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. You can text me or call me. You can WhatsApp me, signal me, or telegram me. Um, Calendly.com slash Chris Abraham slash 15 will get you 15 minutes of my time on a phone call. Um, Twitter.com slash Chris Abraham. Instagram.com slash Chris Abraham, YouTube.com slash Chris Abraham, LinkedIn.com slash in slash Chris Abraham, Reddit.com slash you slash Chris Abraham, uh, NoAgendaSocial.com slash at Chris, Giravik.su slash at Chris, and that's it. Thank you for coming this far. My main site for this podcast is anchor.fm slash chris abraham but no matter where you are please subscribe and like and thumbs up and review and rate and join and share and all those fun things love you guys love you take care and uh, aloha mahalo Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.